What's going on YouTube? This is Crazy for Coins here, uh, and I'm going to be doing a full stack video on my Platinum. Um, now, recently I have been, well, obsessed with Platinum because I just, I feel like it honestly, it's one of the best um, precious metals that you can possibly invest in right now. I'm not into rhodium. I'm not into um, palladium at the moment. Um, although I was looking at rhodium when it was down to like 700 an ounce or whatever it was or so. The problem is, is just that at the time, I didn't know about moving stuff to different categories to get deals from eBay. But the premium on that rhodium bar is just astronomically high. So even though it looked like it had bottom back when it was like, you know, $700 an ounce, I did not pick up any rhodium. Um, palladium, I just, I don't know, I just didn't pick any of that up either. It just didn't occur to me. And even platinum, for the longest time, I've never invested in platinum. Um, it's been probably since I've been done the precious metals about 12 or 13 years now. Um, I started when I was a little kid, um, but it just never occurred to me. I just never really was interested in platinum. But recently, within the past, I would say six months or so, I've been highly interested in platinum because the prices so such precipitously have dropped off the cliff. It's going from like two thousand dollars an ounce, almost or around down to as low as seven and change, like 770 or 760 something an ounce. And $800 an ounce is a good price. My ultimate buy-in price was $700 an ounce. So if it gets there, it gets there. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I've got a decent sized position right now um, as part of my uh, allocation. I don't plan on making platinum anywhere like super close to my gold or silver holdings it's going to be like that fringe precious metal but if it does get to the level i'm hoping it goes i will be buying a lot more and the reason is because palladium and rhodium right now are doing really well but there's that disparity between platinum platinum if you look it's just it, it's not doing as well as the other um, platinum metals group metals are. So I think that palladium as opposed to platinum will either be extremely overvalued and platinum will be extremely undervalued or palladium will be extremely overvalued because palladium and platinum have the same uses. Um, one, the only difference is being is that one is used for diesel, platinum mainly, and palladium for gasoline. Um, but again, they have the same usage. Now, the automotive companies, and this is speculation on my part, um, so I don't take this as a fact, but the automotive companies have contracts for palladium. Now, when they run out, what do you think they're going to do? Do you think they're, they're going to continue to use palladium if the price disparity is so far apart where palladium is trading at almost 1100 an ounce and platinum right now is up to 860 something? No. Why wouldn't you use platinum? Platinum is so much cheaper. So I feel that platinum is extremely undervalued to the rest of the PMG group. Um, so that being said, you also have the fact that South Africa, politically wise, is just, well, kind of looking like it's turning socialist. Um, there's a lot of political strength there. Um, and... Well, if that happens, then you could have potentially a nice price spike in platinum. <clears throat> the other thing is, is again, South Africa has a good almost three quarters of the world supply of platinum, along with the second country being Russia. Now, if South Africa does turn and then you have Russia, you're talking four out of five um, ounces um, of supply that is production mined being in unfriendly countries to the United States, which again could be a big catalyst for um, a precious metal explosion in the platinum price. So those are the reasons for why um, I've been buying platinum 
And without further ado, I'm going to get to the full stack video. So here we go, guys. Um, I already did an unboxing of this. This is the 2000 Platinum Eagle that I have. Really like the design, as I said to you before. I really like the details. I wasn't a big fan at first of the, um, the American Eagle Platinums. I just, I, I don't know. I just didn't really um, care too much for the Liberty. But once I hold it in my hands, and I really appreciate the details of this coin. I mean, it's got more detail than I was expecting. So I kind of warmed up to it. Um, so I ended up paying... I think I paid 100, like 105 or 104 for this quarter ounce, and that was because I had $152 or something like that in e-bucks. So not bad. Um, there's that one. Uh, this, okay, this one was a mistake buy. This was me being an idiot and trying to bid somebody up out of spite because I didn't want somebody to buy this this cheap. It was going for 883. I bid 893, and I ended up winning this accidentally. Um, I really like. I do really like the angle hard. I'm not really a Balcombe Swiss. The um, the platinum Balcombe Swiss, or um, I do like the pumps, the Pamp Swiss. Um, I just like the eagle design. Nice U.S. Uh, platinum. Well, it's made in the U.S., but. Um, I paid, like I said, I paid about eight ninety three, but I had about five hundred something e bucks. No, not five hundred something, three hundred fifty something e bucks. I paid five hundred something for this bar. Um, so cash wise, that's where I'm at and at right now. Not the best price to start out. That eight eighty something, I didn't really want to pay that much um, because platinum. My ultimate goal is to buy platinum at eight hundred an ounce. So at 880, you're talking 10% over spot, which is too much. Um, ideally, I'd like to get something like 15, 20 dollars over spot for something, you know, something even like this. So this is just uh, one ounce of platinum. Um, this one is the um, Britannia one ounce platinum. Um, now. I saw the one tenth ounce guys, but I don't understand why people are paying for, for the one tenth ounce platinum. Not even just the, the the Britannia, but the Platinum Eagle and Platinum Koala, whatever not. They're paying one twenty, one thirty, which would be the equivalent if you multiply that by ten, twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars. So they're paying like, you know, if it's eight hundred and they're paying twelve hundred, they're paying fifty percent over spot. What is the point? Why would you buy something and pay that much for it? You're, you're, you know, it's it to me, it's just foolish. Um, and I'll get to another thing that I own um, where I, pe I think people are absolutely stupid for buying, complete stupid. Um, well, I just sounded stupid, <laughs> but anyway, I like the. Um, I really like this coin, um, but I'm a little disappointed because when I got it, I mean, if you look, guys, the detail, you see how flat, there's no, like, hairline detail or anything like that. That's really what I'm disappointed on, as opposed to the uh, the Platinum Eagle. There's just, just, just more detail there, um, and even if you look at the, the Britannia itself, the back, the reverse, um, you could just see, you know, it's nice. I really like the design. I've always liked this design, but... I wish there was just more detail instead of this flatness right here. If it had more detail, I'd really, really, really like this coin. Um, but that's the one ounce. Now, this is just a giant bag of, well, not a giant bag, but a big bag of Pam Swiss bars. I went a little crazy with Pam Swiss bars, but um, I'm going to start off with the one ounce. and Not the one ounce, the one gram. This, guys, stupid. Absolutely, completely stupid. Why are people paying on eBay almost $40 a gram? Okay, do the math. 30 grams times $40 is $1,200. Again, you're paying 50%, and this is even worse. I'd rather buy a tenth of an ounce American Eagle or a tenth of an ounce Platinum. Um, ten, yeah, a tenth of an ounce um, American Eagle or a tenth of an ounce... Um, koala because at least you're going to get some of your premium back 
this thing, you're going to get obliterated. It's, it's, again, stupid. I don't understand. But the reason why I got this is because I got this for a really good deal. Um, I got this and I bought a 2018 American Eagle, one ounce, one ounce silver eagle. I paid about 45 or 40 something, 45, 46, somewhere around there. So if you figure that's like paying, um, $26 for this and maybe $20 for a silver eagle or, or $28 for this and $20, uh, $18 for um, a silver eagle, which is a pretty good deal. Um, and I ended up selling the uh, the eagle, um, but this I'm, I still kept, um, so I have that. Now, I've got two, uh, give me one second. Five gram um, Pam Swiss platinum bars, um, and these I paid a hundred around 145. So I got them. I didn't get them for a great deal, but I didn't get them for a bad deal. I kind of got them for like in between. Um, you know, if you if you went on like Atmix, I got it in between their buyback price and the price that they're offering for these. So. Not a bad price, but I want to keep, again, trying to um, take more risk off and get to as close to spot as possible on stuff like this to take out risk. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention um, the Platinum, the One Ounce Platinum Britannia. I paid 800 and, oh, Jesus, I want to say... Like between eight ten and eight hundred and twenty dollars for this, and I jumped on it because I realized that this was probably going to be one of the last um, bullion sales that Atmix had on this particular coin. I, I felt like you know what the year's coming to an end, the supply is probably going to be drained. So let me go ahead and buy it now. Um, so I'm really happy. Um, I got this at a really good price. So. Um, um, you know, I'm really happy with that purchase. But anyway, getting back. Okay, this guy's was a stupid one. This is the Pam Swiss 10 gram. This one I bought actually a couple years ago, I think. I paid $350, way too much for this bar. Um, but, you know, you you live and learn. So I ended up learning my lesson. You know, I, I, I know exactly where to buy it at. Um, just checking the time. Okay, it's I got 13 minutes. All right, um... You know, I really like, you know, this bar, it's nice. Same thing with the five ounce, uh, five ounce, five gram, one gram. Um, just pay too much for it. So, okay. Um, and my final one is I got, I recently got this 20 gram off eBay. Um, this is one of my last platinum purchases. I paid $515 for this with, after credit card and whatever I paid I think under five hundred and ten dollars I got this for which is a terrific deal I didn't even need to negotiate guys I didn't even need to take this to you know a 10 15 percent offset I just bid on this and this guy had another listing a 10 grand a 20 gram listing that's I think it sold for 510 or 505 unbelievable at mixes buyback price is pretty much that so I got this for a terrific deal um I just wish I had more capital. I would have picked up the other one, but, you know, oh, well. It's just a Pomp Swiss uh, 20 gram. Um, so, altogether, guys, this is the full stack. Um, I don't have too much. I've got between three and a quarter and three half of an ounce. So, you're looking at between here, you're looking at 20, um, 30, 40, 41 grams with the um, Pam Swiss. And you're looking at two and a quarter ounce right here. So you're looking at, like I said, three and a quarter to three and a half ounces. Ideally speaking, um, I would like to get a couple more ounces, but the price of platinum has already significantly um, rose off the low. So I probably won't be, be buying anything else unless I can get it for super cheap right where my near my buyback point is. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I apologize for the mess back there and the sound quality hopefully comes out better. I will see you guys later. Okay.